Welcome to video number 13, the X-Belt Assembly. In this video we are going to be running the X-Belt all the way through and then using my own method of tightening it. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take our X-Belt and we're going to run it uh, through either side you want to begin on but just make sure you run it onto the to the side of the X carriage with the bearings and make sure you can get it tight around both the pulley and the bearing on the X idler now for this step I do my own X belt tensioning method and it is different than what they show in the original tutorial and it's actually different than what the X carriage is designed for but it still works a lot better in my opinion the reason I changed my design is because it is near impossible to maintain a good tension on the belt once you actually get it fixed the Y belt in contrast which we do in the next lesson does have a tensioner so once you get the belt fixed you can use the tensioner to make it as tight as you need unfortunately the X belt design lacks this feature so I made a workaround Now, with my method, which is different, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take two small zip ties, or maybe just one for now, and I'm going to go and get it started. And the idea here is to make as small a loop as possible from the end of the belt, and then use the zip tie to fit over it and to hold it in place. And we're going to end up doing this for both sides. But uh, what it, what's important here is that you want to keep these this actual part as small as possible. But you want to be able to fit another zip tie through that loop. And so that's kind of your boundary for how small you make it. Once you get it fixed as tight as you can, go ahead and clip off the excess on the zip tie. Now, once you get one side done, we're going to fix it into the X carriage to where the loop we just made is going to be sitting as close to the outside of the X carriage as we can get it. So we're going to fit the groove of the belt into the teeth, and we want that to be a really snug fit, but you want that loop to be as close to the outside as you can get it. And once we get it there, we're going to go ahead and start making our second loop. Now, the most important part right here is when you go to make your second loop once you have the first side fixed you want to make it to where there's a noticeable gap in between the two loops just like you can see I probably got anywhere from you know five to six millimeters or so of a gap you you don't want them to where they can touch or you won't be able to tension it so you still want to keep a very tight very small loop you're gonna cut the excess off of the zip tie and the belt but it's really important that we we have that gap in the middle just like you can see so once we have that what's going to be important now is that for one the teeth are locking into the X carriage and actually pulling it but now we're going to take our third zip tie and we're going to fit it through both ends of the belts into both of the loops we just made and you can probably see where this is going so what we're gonna do is once we have it fit through both loops we're gonna go ahead and begin tightening it but our goal here is to pull it pull it tight enough to where we have a, a good tension on the belt you don't want to over tighten here but you you definitely don't want it loose so I'm gonna start off with it you know a little bit loose and then you're gonna see me adjusting the zip tie you know as I see fit and you're gonna want it to where there's just a little bit of a twang in the belt as you can see here I'm kinda I'm feeling it and kinda plucking it to see but I'm gonna keep going tighter now if at any point uh, your belt starts to loosen up or you think you have the wrong amount of tension it's not hard to to clip the zip tie and to go back and add another one 